pleasure and the privilege it is to be part of this conference on sustainable tourism, preservation of heritage and uh, culture. And it's the first time I believe you've uh, had anyone speaking on accessibility in tourism. Uh, so it's a, a special privilege uh, to be here. It's been a really enjoyable two days so far. And I'd really like to thank the organizers for taking this initiative and actually for keeping going with this initiative for so many years. I'd also like to say uh, a very big uh, thanks to all of you for coming. We all know it's not easy to get here, uh, but it's very well worth it. And I'd also say uh, thank you uh, and to acknowledge the presence of the uh, ladies from EOT, uh, very important partners in this endeavor uh, to make Amor Gos uh, a well-respected and even better respected and even better known tourist destination. Now I'm going to talk about accessible tourism for all. I'm going to weave a, a story here of several strands that are coming together uh, to bring us to a tourism that should be for everybody. Uh, I'll show you some PowerPoint slides here and I think there are people in the audience who have severe visual impairments so I hope you can follow the slides as far as I know. But if you can't, uh, tell me and I will describe what, what I'm showing you. Okay, that's not working, this one might. Yes. So I need to tell you a little bit about the background of uh, our organization. We have an organization called ENAT, the European Network for Accessible it's Tourism. It's a, a private non-profit organization founded in Belgium in 2008. And this started as a, a European funded project on mainstreaming disability policies in the tourism sector. So this was really the first time the European Commission had put some money aside uh, to try to promote issues to do with people with disabilities <coughs> in tourism. And to be honest, there's a rather bad record of uh, the tourism sector talking to the disability sector. We tend to uh, divide things up into sectors in Europe and really the tourism sector uh, has shown itself to be way behind the curve when it comes to appealing and reaching out to people with disabilities in particular. So this was quite some time ago now. Uh, and we started this organization, as a multi-stakeholder consortium, with the purpose of developing and promoting tourism for all uh, visitors and open to all organizations and people supporting the statutes. Now the mission of the European Network is to make European tourism destinations, products and services accessible to all travellers and to promote accessible tourism around the world. 